Hey, what's up YouTube? This is an update on my uh, Craftsman's air compressor that I have. It's a 30 gallon uh, to 5.5 horsepower. And I just added a filter to it here. I'm going to try to get down here with the lack of light there is. And see if you can get that. I'll try to get this so we get at it. Yeah. So this is the filter I just added to it, a dryer. Uh, it's an inline filter. It says it can go up to, I think, 145 PSI. This air compressor can go to a max of 130. Uh, which for my use it's fine. So, but I got this folder here. It's a pretty nice one. Uh, it's got a little uh, relief valve on the bottom of it. So when you want to let the water out, um, you just have to lift up and that. It's just letting the air out right there. But as water would be, as water builds up in there, um, you can drain it out from there. Now, not really the best job of installing it. It's kind of a rig job, but you know what? It does the it does what I need it to. Um, this thing here, it looks like for some reason, uh, this quick connect, that somebody put this piece of, um, pipe in here, um, one-fourth pipe threaded, and, uh, installed it into this T here. Now, I only really need one output. This one doesn't really work that well. It kind of sticks. I don't use this one anyway. The only reason why I put it back on here is because I didn't get a chance just to get a straight, uh, straight pipe, and it came out to be almost a perfect length, where it just basically clears the, the tank itself, so... Um, got it at Harbor Freight. It's um, it's a uh, I don't know if it's picking up. It's a one fourth inch mini filter, uh, central pneum uh, pneumatic. It's um, like I said, Harbor Freight. I got it for uh, I want to say uh, seven ninety nine, I believe. That's the item number, which is six eight two two five. Just in case anybody's interested, uh, seems to be doing a trick. So haven't really put it to the test yet, but. I just don't want to ruin my tools um, with all the moisture this tank does uh, in the environment I have it in does build up an awful lot of uh, moisture there so um, this is my toolbox too I don't know if I've done a recent update on it or not but of uh, all the junk I've connect I've managed to accumulate um, got a bunch of stuff hanging here on this thing um, just a bunch of stuff that I keep I, I work on a lot of cars so it's nice to have and um, so I've got it pretty much organized where I have the top drawer here is got my uh, all my impact sockets going across here. Um, these are my standard uh, three eighths. I got some uh, three eight deep well sockets. This is mostly all Harbor Freight stuff. You know, I'm a pretty big fan of a lot of their tools. And being I'm not a professional mechanic, I just tinker with cars. And you know, I've done a couple engines, but not anything you know on a regular basis. So I don't really need the best of the best. Um, some tools I do have Craftsman's, like the air compressor, for an example, is a Craftsman's. It's an older 1998. Uh, compressor. I bought it used off Cra uh, Craigslist. I had to drive a little bit to get to it, but this is 90 bucks, and you know, for a 30 gallon 5.5 horsepower, uh, that's pretty decent if you ask me. Um, it is an oilless. Some people prefer oilless, or uh, oiled, I should say. But you know what? Once again, if it gives me two years of use for 90 bucks, I'm not complaining. So it's done its job for me, and um, so. And I have the hose here. I've got it hanging. And let's see here. What else do I got in here? Uh, the second drawer down is uh, these are all my uh, socket wrenches or uh, ratchets and and uh, some drill bits and uh, some security bits and some tools and extensions I have over here. That's in that drawer. Let's see here. What else do I have to show you guys? Uh, in here is like my adjustable caressant wrenches, my regular wrenches. Uh, some extra um, air fittings and whatnot, an extra quick connect there, um, zip tie thing, and some uh, pick tools underneath that. Um, if you go down a little further, in here I have a couple. I got a couple pipe wrenches. Um, over there I have my cutters, my little clippers, just a random tray of crap and sockets, um, cutters, wire clip, um, wire splicers. Um, you know, pliers, vice grips back there. Try to keep certain stuff together in certain drawers. This is my, for doing, uh, cutting off, um, my little invention. Well, I didn't really invent it. I got it off of, uh, another guy, the idea. He just takes some pieces of, uh, heater hose and put it on a pair of old vice grips. And this is good for, like, if you're wanting to pinch off a line when you're working on a line on a vehicle. Uh, for an example, when you're bleeding the, uh, or putting on brakes on an ABS, uh, vehicle with ABS brakes you don't want to just push the uh, you don't want to push the brake fluid right back up into the uh, 
ABS module because if there's particles in there you can damage the diaphragms on it so those are good to pinch off so you can bleed it out and so on when you go to compress the caliper these are mainly just screwdrivers uh, multimeter I love these little metal <laughs> dishes I got a, quite a few of them I got one hanging right here too for collecting nuts and bolts a magnetized dish um, in here this is just uh, my chaos drawer this has a bunch of random loose wrenches um, oil uh, filter wrenches um, my Harbor Freight um, pneumatic uh, 3 8 uh, wrench ratchet I should say uh, got a couple um, got a cold chisel just in case I've used that a few times a couple, uh, couple different sizes of uh, punches things like that uh, these are kind of cool too um, these uh, these uh, ratchet um, ratchet wrenches they have the little uh, ratchets in them so you don't have to keep taking the wrench back off to um, let's see here in here I have uh, hammers and and uh, stuff like that pry tools I got a couple breaker bars in there the uh, I got a, a pickle there for ball joints down in there this is my ABS uh, trouble code computer uh, let's see. Sorry for all the bouncing, guys. I really just kind of threw this together. In here is some more uh, tools. This is my uh, Harbor Freight uh, paint gun. It's a non-gravity feed um, cutoff wheel, uh, pneumatic cutoff wheel, also from Harbor Freight. Got this on a sidewalk sale for seven bucks. It's great for cutting through sheet metal when I do body work. Uh, got a cut. Got a. Of course, you have your Harbor Freight um, heat gun. Uh, trouble light chilling back there. Uh, this is actually kind of nice too. Um, bought this for 14 bucks. This is a Harbor Freight uh, paint sprayer as well. It's a gravity feed. It's a smaller one, but it's nice for small jobs. Uh, I've used it a couple times. Um, this is another pickle fork uh, for doing ball joints. And that's my impact hammer that's also from Harbor Freight. <laughs> Big surprise, right? Harbor Freight. So. I'm a big Harbor Freight advocate when it comes to a lot of this stuff that's not really a big deal. In here, of course, I got my Impact Half Inch. That one, I did not play games. I got that one from Lowe's. Um, this is my, uh, uh, that's my adjustable uh, torque wrench. A nice rivet, riveter there. I got an electric impact gun here from Harbor Freight. Bought that about five years ago. Spent 49 bucks for it. Best investment ever made. This electric impact one has been known to do better than my air impact. Um, got my pneumatic, or I'm sorry, my harmonic balance puller in there. Uh, I, I got something else done in that box. I don't even know what's in half this stuff. I haven't gone through it in a while, but um, of course, got the jack right there. It's a SUV jack, it's a three ton. Um, this is my wall outlet that I installed, uh, had help with a co-worker at work, a friend of mine, Dan, he came over and helped me install that. Um, I needed a separate uh, breaker box for that because the uh, electric uh, air compressor was just using way too much juice. So this is my fluids and paints and gear oil down there and motor oil and uh, detailing cleaning products. I got another Craftsman's toolbox up there. It's kind of like a catch-all at the moment. Uh, it's my uh, blowtorch up there, my little propane one, just for doing little jobs. So, it's all my goodies. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of room because my dad is a pack rat. Um, of course, it's got the battery charger over there. It's an old one, but it works great. Uh, i got plastic ramps for these newer vehicles that have the really low bumpers on them. Um, got the metal ramp right there. There's one there, one out here. And then, of course, over here, of course, it's probably not going to show up, but I'm going to try. This is the uh, fuse box. This is where I ran the... Uh, right next to it, the um, sub panel, which then I ran up over the garage door so that I could have uh, extra power going over to here so I could just plug stuff right in on my garage door and hook up any of my different uh, stuff that I need to do without having to worry about blowing a circuit all the time. So I added an extra strip here on the wall too for plugging in extra stuff. But yeah, I got this Husky uh, toolbox. It was a closeout special at um, Home Depot. It was uh, 100 bucks. It was a floor model. I said, what the hey, perfect. So it does the job. I love it. And uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you a quick update on the air compressor. I finally got a dryer on it and a uh, filter. And I just installed that a couple minutes ago. And uh, just, just priming it up to check for leaks. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you.